Alright, what's going on guys? It's Ryan, or Gavi here, and today I have a story to tell you, and the reason that I'm wearing these headphones is because I, I just feel like I have a better sense of how my mic quality is going to be for the entire video if I have these headphones on, but I know some of you don't like when I wear them during vlogs. But anyways, I have a funny story to tell you about what happened on Friday, um, right before school. It, it's really weird what happened. So basically what happened is Friday morning, I woke up super early, so I was like, hey, let's hey, let's actually walk to school this morning. So I, I go to school and I leave super early around, you know, like 6, 6.45 or something. And by the time 6.45 comes around, I walk up to the school. About 10 minutes later, at 6.55ish, it takes me about 10 minutes to walk to my school. So 6.55ish, somewhere around there. I'm standing outside of my school, and, and what do I hear? I hear the fire alarms going off. I'm like, why the hell are the fire alarms going off? And just take a note that before this, I went down to the convenience store at the end of my street, and while I was in there, the power just went out and then came back on. And I thought it came back on because, you know, it was just like a power search. It went on and off again, but apparently, no. I walk back to my house from that store just to like pick up my bag and everything to take off for school and I'm just like, why Why are the, all the lights off? I don't know, maybe my mom shut them off, but I didn't add two and two together. So I was an idiot not doing that because when am I not an idiot? Let's, let's all be real here. When am I not an idiot? But I came back and I was like, okay, okay, this is weird, but okay. So I'm back to me getting up at the school. I'm up at the school and I hear the fire alarms going off and I'm wondering what the fuck is going on so apparently and this is what I've been told by my school what happened is the power went out and then when the backup generators came on that created like a surge over like the chorus hallway which is like way off to the side of the school uh, it's on like way on the left side of the school um, it's away from the classrooms and everything one of the um one of the ventilation systems on the roof overheated and like sent smoke like down the vents in, of those hallways and set the fire alarms off i'm like what and i'm thinking at this point like okay i don't really want to go in school today um because i don't feel like you know breathing in smoke where there should be oxygen coming in from that doesn't sound very safe so <laughs> What I ended up doing is I was like standing outside and I was like, should I just like walk back home because I don't feel safe? So <laughs> what happens is from then on, we're outside of the school and it's like 7.15 at that point. There are fire trucks pulling up to our school. There are people on top of the roof of the school. And I'm just like, what? what? What is going on? It seems like CSI and James Bond have combined and people are just like climbing everywhere. There are people everywhere. And I'm just ready to be like, taken away like what there are people surrounding me there are like forces of the fire department like and the fire department is going in and out of the school and i'm like all right they're gonna let us back in no nope nope they're going back into the school all right um i thought the school was on fire for a little bit and i, I was so confused i'm like what what is going on so i walk in a little bit over to my friends and i'm like what is going on and we we're all like we, we have no idea so, eventually, at like 7.20, they finally let us back into the school. And I, I'm like, alright, we're not even getting a delay on school. This is, this is just freaking great. And I sit down at my desk, and what, what I hear over the intercom might have been the sketchiest thing I've heard in my school. It was, um, nobody in the music department can go into the music hallway yet, uh, because it's not cleared. Wh why are you letting us into the school? If that part of the school is not cleared yet. You don't know if the rest of the school is safe. Like, what? That just doesn't seem safe in a nutshell. Like, what? So, I'm sitting as far away as I can be from the from the music hallway just because I'm like, no, plus my classroom, I was lucky. So, my classroom is really far away from it. In a sense, I wasn't lucky. But we're basically ready to start that. And I'm sitting down in the classroom, you know, whatever. And half of the class goes by uh then the power just goes out completely because we're already running off a of generator power so the, the power just goes out completely i'm like <laughs> this is getting sketchy the lights are out nothing's on at all at, at all at all 
So all the power's out, and at that point, I'm just like, oh, this is going to be Armageddon. This is not going to be fun. And you just, and once the power went out, everybody started yelling, like, screaming. And I was like, all right, this isn't like a bunch of infant five-year-olds. This isn't preschool when you screamed whenever the lights went out or flickered. But apparently it was, because my high school is my high school. So, yeah. And at that point, we were just like, okay, this is getting old now. Can the power come back on? Flicks right back on. Everybody else screams. And I'm like... You, you literally just scream. Can you not scream again, please? That would be nice. Thank you. So, then they come on and tell us, like, everything that happened. And I'm like, why are we in school right now if, like, the power won't even work? We can't use the computers to do our work. We can't, the teachers can't use their computers to tell us what to do for work. We're literally just running off of paper, wasting our entire, the entire period. And, like, second period, everything was back to normal. Thank God. Like, first period, we got no work done at all. So, like, I had a ton of homework over the weekend. That was fun. But that, it wasn't fun at all. So, that was a great experience in my life. I went home that day, and my mom was texting me the entire time. Like, oh, let, let me, I need to know what's going on exactly. I need to let every mom in town know what happened. Like, literally, I was like, since when are you Gossip Girl? Jeez, like, what? But apparently that's a thing. Um, so... Yeah, my mom apparently feeds information about everything into the town. But I, I, I guess you learn something new every day. Um, I didn't know ventilation systems could overheat like that and blow smoke into, into the ventilation systems. So now, now I'm petrified that that's going to happen. So thanks. Thanks, school. Yay. Again, you learn something new every day. So... I don't know. I guess that was a great experience for me to have. But anyways, guys, if you enjoy vlogs like these and want me to do them a little bit more often, just kind of telling, like, life stories and everything, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to be probably uploading Gmod next. I want to play some, like, Trouble in Tires Town or something like that because it sounds like a lot of fun. So I'll talk to you later. And anyways, yeah, it's been Ryan or Gabby here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Talk to you later and peace.